Hello, I'm Michael Todd, a professor of structural engineering in the Department of Structural Engineering at UC San Diego. I'm going to share this brief presentation on the structural health monitoring and non-destructive evaluation focus sequence, which is one of the four focus sequences that all structural engineering majors may choose from. Structural health monitoring, together with non-destructive evaluation, encompasses the integration of a broad range of technologies drawn from structural engineering, mechanical engineering, and even electrical and computer engineering for the purpose of monitoring whether a structure is performing according to its intended design or not. These technologies include sensors and data acquisition, signal processing and information analytics, modeling and simulation, and decision science, among others. In the picture shown here, the structure of interest might be a high-speed patrol boat. The structural health monitoring engineer is charged with devising and deploying a strategy for determining how the boat performs over its lifetime and alerting the boat's owners or users when the boat isn't performing as designed, when critical maintenance should be performed, or even when the boat might be on the verge of catastrophic failure. We might think of an analogy here. When you or I aren't feeling well, we typically visit the doctor, describe our symptoms, and the doctor will likely perform a series of diagnostic tests. From that data, the doctor then makes a decision about our state of health. The structural health monitoring engineer is very much the doctor for structures. We create the strategy to sense the behavior of the structure, analyze that data for useful information about the structure's performance, and then make a diagnosis about what to do next. This is all very much like what our own doctors do for us. In fact, this analogy is very strong. There is something called a medical risk assessment set of questions and a medical risk management set of questions that all medical doctors usually follow. Structural health monitoring engineers answer exactly the same sets of questions for structures or structural components. We assess the risks, design and deploy a monitoring strategy to address those risks, and then make informed decisions about the structure or components life cycle. The structural health monitoring, otherwise known as SHM, and the non-destructive evaluation, otherwise known as NDE, focus sequence, like all focus sequences in the department, has specific courses that must be taken, along with technical electives that the student can choose from a long list of possibilities. The five key classes are shown here. They are mostly taken in the senior year, although if a prerequisite is met by any student, that student can take a focus sequence course earlier. On the next slide, we will discuss these five classes in a little bit more detail. Those five key focus sequence courses are shown again here. SE 163 will teach you about many of the fundamental techniques devised to inspect structures non-destructively, such as liquid penetrant, elastic wave propagation and ultrasonic testing, impact echo, acoustic emission testing, infrared thermography, and x-ray testing. SE 164 will show you how the most common sensing mechanisms used for structures, such as accelerometers and strain gauges, operate, and how the data that comes from them is collected and managed within a data acquisition system to make it suitable for later analysis. SE 167 then introduces you to some of the basic ways that data are mined for useful information relevant for determining the diagnostic condition on the structure. SE 168 will give you hands-on experience in modeling a structure, designing a vibration test for that structure, executing the test, and then learning how to update your model to reflect test results. Finally, SE 165, which is our capstone focus sequence course, 
will enable you to study the entire integrated paradigm of data acquisition, information extraction, and decision making in the context of a term small team consultancy project. The SHM NDE faculty are very engaged in active research and we encourage undergraduates to look for opportunities to get involved. Such opportunities can range from volunteering in a professor's research lab, to taking independent study courses for technical elective credit, to even paid summer internships in some cases. In this slide, we show just a few of the many active projects going on that undergraduates have gotten involved with. On the left are some projects that involve using ultrasonic waves to find hidden defects in metals and composites and to develop sharper defect imaging capabilities. The top center figure shows the use of designing advanced materials, such as carbon nanotubes, that allow new and advanced sensing concepts like measuring strain with light illumination. The top right figure depicts a similar damage sensing strategy using electrical impedance tomography to highlight the presence of impact damage. Drones with camera or video payloads are used in the lower center figure to create survey maps and highly sophisticated digital renderings of as-built structures from which computer vision methods may be used to find damage or other anomalies. Finally, in the lower right, optical fibers are embedded inside composites during fabrication to create permanent smart structures that can self-detect when they have been impacted. The broad course portfolio in the SHMNDE focus sequence opens up career opportunities in a number of sectors, such as aerospace, companies such as Northrop Grumman, Collins Aerospace, or Boeing are good examples, automotive, companies such as GM Ford or their supply chain companies are good examples, civil, including design firms, retrofitting firms, and even Caltrans, engineering service firms, some local San Diego examples include ATA Engineering and Cordis Engineering, small businesses with focused missions, such as some of those listed on the slide, and the US government laboratories and agencies across the departments of defense and energy. Of course, students are also prepared to advance their educations in graduate school, both MS or PhD program levels. In fact, the structural engineering department also has the United States only graduate program in this area with an entire Master of Science degree program and a PhD concentration in SHM, damage prognosis, and validated simulations. For master's students, the program is designed to be finished in one year if they select the course only option with research oriented master's thesis students generally taking a bit longer. At the PhD level, our education and research partner, the Los Alamos National Laboratory, offers competitive fellowships for dissertation research and internship opportunities at that lab, which is located in Los Alamos, New Mexico. This slide shows the primary faculty in the Structural Engineering Department that actively teach and or perform research in the structural health monitoring and non-destructive evaluation areas. In some cases, we show specific classes that they often teach within the focus sequence curriculum. I hope you found this presentation on the SHM NDE focus sequence informative, and we definitely hope to see you this fall in the Department of Structural Engineering at UC San Diego.